This is my 2019 27 inch iMac. The model number is A2115. Today's topic is I'm going to talk about how to make this iMac run faster because this iMac came with one terabyte fusion drive which is a hard drive basically um, you can install a SSD internally if you want to do that you need to remove the screen which is a pain uh, removing the screen what I'm going to do is today I got a this product right here I got this from Amazon I put the link down the description if you wanna try it out this is a USB 3.2 uh, NVMe enclosure which is an N.2 SSD enclosure uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to connect uh, this enclosure to the iMac I will try and install the OS into the NVMe SSD and run run this NVMe as my Mac OS operating system which I hope uh, make my Mac run faster so let's get into it so what you need for this project is uh, for a SSD enclosure as well as the NVMe SSD drive here uh, I put the links for both enclosure and for the NVMe on the description down below if you want to try out this you can click on the link and see the prices and everything also you will need a time machine backup uh, if you are uh, transferring all your data uh, to the new SSD you will need a time machine backup um, if you don't know how to create a time machine backup click on the link uh, appearing now on the top I have done a different video how to create a time machine backup if you are installing a fresh Mac OS, you don't need a time machine backup. First things first, let's unbox this uh, enclosure and see what uh, came inside the box. I got my ME, ME SSD ready. Right, we got USB Type C cable. USB type C to USB type A uh, cable we got the enclosure itself nice and heavy it looks solid and that's all inside the box and we have some paperwork which we don't need get rid of them nice and solid build lift this up anti-clockwise here we have the NVMe SSD enclosure so Let's see, you can actually put it like that. That's how you install it. Easy. We have a thermal pad here. I'm gonna Remove the protective film and this goes like this. Turn clockwise. There we have an external NVMe storage. I'm going to connect this um, enclosure with the SSD using Type C cable to back of my iMac. 
Now, I have connected my Type C cable at the back of my iMac. And if you don't have a Type C connector in your iMac, you can use Type A, Type A cable here. So I'm now going to connect my enclosure. There we go, you can see the light is flashing. Also, it should appear on the iMac, yes. You can see iMac straight away detected the NVMe. Now we have connected our NVMe SSD. I have got a USB, a bootable USB with the Mac OS Big Sur loaded into it. What I'm going to do is now, I'm going to connect this USB to my iMac. Connected. Now I'm going to restart the iMac as soon as it's as soon as it's restarting you should press and hold the alt key on your keyboard you should press and hold the alt key on your keyboard keep pressing onto it and then you should See the bootable you should see booting options we have three options here now this is the hard drive we have already in this Mac iMac this is the USB with the um, Mac OS Big Sur which I have created uh, the bootable USB this is our NVMe SSD so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select Bixer and press enter that will take a little while to boot up right in here um, this is the recovery menu what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to disk utility and I'm gonna select here show all devices and you can see you can see fusion drive which is my Mac OS this is the NVMe SSD, which is this one. This is the USB drive, bootable disk. These are the image, uh, disk images. So I'm gonna select this one here. I'm gonna press erase. You can rename it whatever the name you like. I'm gonna put Mac OS. M.2 You can leave as is Format APFS Guide Partition Map and then press Erase And when it's done, press Done here Now we are ready to install the Mac OS. I'm gonna press install Mac OS Big Sur. Basically what you will have to do is follow the instructions on the screen. Right, uh, we have three options here. This is the hard drive, this is the USB drive, this is the N.2 which we renamed just a few minutes ago. I'm gonna press and I'm gonna select macOS N.2 and press continue and it will start installing the Dixer. 
This will take a while. Let's wait and see. Right, this is freshly installed macOS Big Sur. Um, it's pretty fast. It's actually fast, faster than what I thought. Now all I have to do is connect my time machine back up and restore all my data back into this iMac and we are good to go. As you can see, always running on my NVMe SSD enclosure. It's much better than always running in a hard drive. So as I said earlier, enclosure as well as SSD I have bought from Amazon. I put the links on the description. If you are, if you are interested, go ahead and click on the links. We'll straight away take you to the Amazon website. And until I bring in you another video, I will see you soon.